I've been doing musicals since I was six. It's her passion. Because I think it's one thing I'm actually good at. I act and I sing, and that's just kind of been my like brand since elementary school. Whatever it is, it just feels like a light switch just switches in my brain, and suddenly I'm tone deaf. I can't sing, I can't process the words in time with the music. They're fairly confident that it can be easily removed. The, the tricky part is that of all places in the brain to be located, it's her right temporal lobe, which in Kira's case controls all her auditory senses. So her ability to, to process sound, to sing, to sing on key, all of that potentially could be compromised. I know it's a cruel, sick joke that it would happen right there on the one thing I'm actually passionate about. They're going to wake me up during surgery and have me sing. We're going to test her ability to sing and listen to music while she's awake in the operating room, not feeling any pain, not feeling any discomfort but gives us the ability to be able to see what areas of her brain are important <laughs> for this function so that we can preserve them. Our focus is not only on taking care of the tumor, but on making her life better and preserving the things that she cares about. Is she waking up? Yep. Kira. Your brain is beautiful. Do you just see it? I'm looking right at it. La, 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 la. A12. You're doing great, Kira. La, la, la. Beautiful, that's A14. There it is, right there. There we go. perfect pitch uh, so it's very encouraging uh, to hear someone you know only two days after surgery after brain surgery that's able to you know sing and uh, and communicate musically uh, in such a strong strong way she seems to be doing quite well that's the goal we want to get them through this remove the tumor let them move on with their lives. We'll never feel bad anymore. I see Kira coming back better than ever. 